Last recipe I will be cooking in this kitchen. I wanted it to definitely be in my Instant Pot. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and if I seem very loud or there is an echo, I am in a very empty house about to cook my last meal. And this meal I'm actually making for myself for lunch over the next couple days just to have it set up in the refrigerator as we move everything out and clean and just get this house ready for its new owners. So if you guys wanna follow me over on my vlog channel and see the journey my family of six is about to go on, I always have that link in the description box. But today I am all about using my Instant Pot. Every single Wednesday here on this channel, I share something related to my Instant Pot because I'm about to get very, very familiar with it, with it being one of my only ways to cook in our new place. So let's get right into this creamy sausage and potato recipe in the Instant Pot. So to start this easy lunch or dinner recipe, I love that you can use your Instant Pot as a skillet. So what I'm doing right now is I have a tablespoon of oil in here. You could use canola, olive, vegetable, whatever kind of cooking oil you want. And then I have probably a small, it's like a quarter of a large onion. So a small onion that I diced up and I am just going to saute this. So your Instant Pot definitely has that saute function. I love using this. So it's all in one. You don't have to dirty any extra dishes. So I press that saute and I'm going to saute these onions in the oil until they are nice and translucent. So once your onions are to your liking, you are going to add some more things. So right here I have two links of turkey sausage that I just cut up into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna add those into my Instant Pot. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of parsley, and then I'm just gonna give a good old shake of salt and shake of some thyme. So let's get all of this into our Instant Pot, keeping it on saute. Once you've got all those ingredients in here, the sauces, the sausage and all your spices, you're just going to cook it, again, keeping it on saute until the sausage is nice and browned. I really just love mixing all these flavors together. You could totally skip this option and just stick all these ingredients in here and then go along with the next step that I'm gonna share, um, but this just really ups the flavor level of this dish. So once your sausage is nice and browned, you're going to turn your Instant Pot off. You don't want it on saute anymore. Next, I'm gonna add a full can of chicken broth, along with, I have four small yellow potatoes that again, I just cut up into little bite-sized pieces. Gonna add all of this to my Instant Pot. Once I've got that chicken broth and the potatoes in here, I'm just going to stir it up, kind of get all of everything mixed together. And then I'm just going to pat everything down and get it as much into the liquid as I can. It's okay if it's not completely covered. So we are going to Put our lid on, make sure it is sealing, not venting. And we are going to cook it on manual, which is just high pressure, but I'm gonna go down to four minutes. Once the time is up, I am going to do a quick release. So I'm gonna turn my nozzle from sealing to venting. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Let's just check the potatoes. Oh yeah, look, nice. Oh, I <laughs> got a piece of sausage. They are nice and tender. So awesome. It does not take a whole lot to cook some potatoes. Love that. But even though this is probably delicious as is, I am going to turn these into a creamy version. So to get them nice and creamy, I have half a cup of milk and two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm gonna add my cornstarch to my milk and I am going to whisk this together. Once that is all mixed, 
Yep, I have a mess on my counter. <laughs> I'm going to turn my Instant Pot off and I'm gonna put it back on saute because I really want this to cook and get nice and thick. So I'm going to add my milk and cornstarch mixture. I'm going to mix that in. That beep is just letting me know that the Instant Pot is heating up on saute. So I'm gonna cook this. Ooh, look at all that steam, nice and hot, you guys. I'm gonna cook this for about two minutes on the saute function. Once that sauce is nice and thick, no more than two minutes, this did not take long at all. I'm actually still not done. I love cheese, my kids love cheese, and I am going to add, this is probably a little bit more than half a cup, so I'm gonna add this in and just stir it all until it's nice and melted. I did go ahead and turn the saute function off because as you can hear and see, it's starting to boil and I just want the cheese to melt. So I don't really need to be cooking it any longer. And there you have it. So I'm also going to steam up some broccoli and serve it with that. But this is definitely more soup-like um, the way I love it. I love nice creamy dishes this time of year when it's still pretty cold outside. So this is definitely a tried and true, so easy, all in one using the Instant Pot. You guys are definitely gonna wanna try this one. It was super yummy. I am eating it with coleslaw and I just love the difference between the hot sausage and potatoes and the cold coleslaw, I don't know. It has just been a really yummy lunch, so I will definitely be making this one again. If you guys love using your Instant Pot or you are brand new and you're looking forward to getting more used to it, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, press that bell if you don't wanna miss any of my future videos. Like I said, this is gonna be the last one with this backdrop in this kitchen. So on Friday, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we're still working with the internet in the other place, but I'm really hoping that I can get something new to you guys in my new kitchen area, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, I will see you guys for sure on Saturday with a grocery haul in the new place. All right, bye guys.